Hello world, it's 23 in the afternoon, it's the 3rd of August 2014. I've been away for three days, four days writing a book on Pluto. I'm up to about 57,000 words now. Big thank you to those people who looked after me. You know who you are. Much appreciated. And um, come back and I'm thinking, right, new week. I'll do the week ahead tomorrow. But a few people have been after me recently to rectify their horoscope. And I'm not going to do a video on rectification because it's dry and boring. But the time of birth that everyone has, vital tool in rectification. You can't get a chart properly, especially with the mapping and the astrocartography, as well as the uh, forecasts and predictions, unless you've got a pretty damn accurate time of birth. Unfortunately, England is one of only about two or three countries in the world that doesn't record the birth time. Every other country does. Even Scotland and America puts birth times on the birth certificate, apart from England, who doesn't deem it worthy of, of note. Um, I'm saying nothing about that one. But if you can get the birth time of your child to the minute, do so. It's something that will be really useful. I saw a newborn baby yesterday, and I said to the parents, you know what minute it was born and they had to stop and work it out between them and I just told them never forget that just in case it's always useful to know also here's a useful tool the, the birth time is absolutely critical the reason the birth time is critical is because if you have the birth time accurate to within one or two minutes it's very easy then to work out exactly which point of the sun's orbit is coming up on the eastern horizon. This is known as the ascendant or the rising degree. The rising degree is in the rising sign. If you know the ascendant, you've got the chart right. From there on, everything flows. But if you only know your birth time to say 10 minutes or 15 minutes, then the ascendant can be anywhere from say two to three degrees either side of an average mean. If you do only have your time of birth to an average of say 10 minutes and your ascendant is anywhere within five or six consecutive degrees and you truly have no way of finding out from older people what time of day you were born, then here's a technique for finding your birth time. It takes a little bit of a basic knowledge of astrology. What you do is you work out the ascendant, the rising degree, at the earliest time that you were born and then you work out the ascendant at the latest time that you were born so you've got the two maximums minimum and maximum you work out and then you look at all the degrees in between and you look back in your ephemeris in your book of tables in your astrological books like a bus timetable daily position and planets places right and um you work out when the big planets, the planets that take years, a long time to pass over point, when they were close to that degree. And if you can associate a year where, for example, if your ascendant is somewhere between 16 degrees and 24 degrees of Sagittarius or Gemini, then I'm going to be directing you to the times of perhaps 2003 to 2006, when Pluto was in those degrees of Sagittarius and opposing those of Gemini. At that time, Pluto would have passed on any hypothetical ascendant between those degrees, creating a year of intensity and extremes, as well as transformation and breakthrough. That's how you work it at the year by year level. Similarly, and much more accurately in the short term, if you've got that range of degrees for your ascendant, then look at the movements of Mars, because Mars passing on or opposite the ascendant will be noticeable. It normally creates a degree of volatility, impatience or frustration, as well as a desire for action. Although I've known it manifest in other ways, like headaches, toothache, etc., etc., um, but you can work the ascendant pretty accurately with Mars. I did a case very recently of a client who says, I was born at midday. And it turns out that she was born at 11.58 and possibly 15 seconds. We're still refining it. But these differences, these little differences, they do mean, not, not so much life-changing differences in your horoscope. It's not going to change absolutely everything. But it is going to give you a much greater degree of accuracy when it comes to things like the astrocartography and your own personal forecasting. So... 
Make sure you get your birth time as accurate as possible. Really push your mum for that information. And if you have children, make sure that you recall the time of birth. Best thing you can pass on to your children, an accurate birth time. Right, catch you in the morning in about 12 hours time. Um, 12 hours time, 18 hours time, and we'll do the week ahead. Bye.